Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Hari Dam. Thank you for joining me here today. And thank you for all my subscribers who keep the nation, vegetarian or vegan nation, growing. Thank you very much. And for the last week, you are uh, in the American side, you all enjoyed Thanksgiving. So happy belated Thanksgiving to you all. And remember, if you're vegetarian, the turkeys were thankful that you're vegetarian. So today's video, we're going to talk about how or if uh, meat eaters are afraid to give up meat. So what do you think? Are you afraid to give up meat? You have videos on YouTube, you know, like Earthlings. There's a, I have that video on my channel as well. If uh, slaughterhouses had glass walls, everybody would be vegetarian. From farm to fridge. Meet your meat. You have all these videos amongst other YouTubers who are promoting vegetarianism and expelling and exposing the myths regarding uh, the meat industry or the meat, uh, vegetarian the false uh, per perception of the meat uh, or the vegetarian diet but what about after knowing all of these watching all of these videos you're still into eating meat are you really have you thought about the process what goes on in your meat the diseases yet you still consume meat why is that is there not enough education or are you truly afraid are you afraid of vegetarians as well maybe that's another video you're concerned about protein that's another video but in the future we will discuss more about the protein the b12 myths that are going around I've been vegetarian all my life and I haven't lacked any of those but it seems to me that many meat eaters are unaware or don't care about the facts that are presented to them they are professional debaters they'll keep going on and on and on and on but to me that seems like you're you're it's harder to wake up someone who is pretending to be asleep i hope you understand what i mean if someone's pretending to be asleep meaning they're wanting to stay ignorant you can't change them in any way so are the mediators that you come across or if you're one of them what, what is the reason why you keep eating meat? Despite all the facts, despite everything, is there some sort of fear that you have? Hmm. It is, is it out of that fear you eat meat? And does the eating of the meat enhance your fear? Because as we mentioned in another video, when whatever you eat affects your consciousness. So eating foods that are decomposed, uh, that you have to have to put on a shelf in some store for days or weeks and you eat that how does that affect you does it put you in full of fear anxiety is your life surrounded by anxious moments you know you may not even understand this but that has uh, that the reason that is is because of your consumption of meat that's more philosophical we will go into ethical and moral reasons and global reasons to be vegetarian later but it seems like whenever I talk to a meat eater they're concerned about B12 and vitamin C amongst other things you know I was asked last week do I even eat fish what about B what about your vitamins what about your health people freak out but this is from the propaganda of the meat industry you have been infused brainwashed you know into thinking that you need meat in your diet however we're also brainwashing but we're washing the dirt out of people's brains so think about it why do you need meat do you actually need meat I would disagree I've never needed meat and countless others who have become vegetarian have not needed meat so what is the reason why meat is preferred you're unaware about the other aspects watch earthlings Hmm? Watch farm to fridge. Watch if slaughterhouse if glass slaughterhouses had glass walls. So when we look at our our lives and how we conduct ourselves based on the desire to eat meat, you know, we see based on my other videos as well how how our consciousness and nature is different. If you were to give up meat for like a month, you would see how you would change. Are you afraid of that change? Right? These questions have to be looked at. So are meat eaters afraid of giving up meat? If you have to understand that if, if when you eat meat, 
right? You're causing harm, harm to many animals as well as human beings. If you don't believe me, if you look at the statistics, people are going hungry in all places in the world, all places in society, because of massive consumption of meat. Because the amount of land needed to produce meat, right, could and, and feed the grains to the animals, could be fed to those human beings. There's, uh, there's so many problems in uh, our health, health, health system or in our uh, health in our bodies because of meat. So think about this when you try to eat meat next. Give up eating meat for like a month or something. See the change, right? So I hope this video meets you well. Have a great evening. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Hari Dom. Thank you.